Hello, Cozy Gamers. I can't quite believe it, but today we're checking out Fay Farm. Thank you so much to Phoenix Labs for sending me a code to check it out two weeks early. Let's dive right in. I've been waiting for this farming game for so long. Looks like you're new here. Let's give your world a name. Um, we'll call it the Cozy Gaming Club. Look at the little chicken! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> right, let's start by designing our character. So there are different body types. I quite like this one. And we're gonna change the skin. Oh, look at this! Oh, so many skin colours! This is great. This is great. I'm gonna go for like this one. Eyes. Oh, those are a bit scary. Um, which one of these? I like these ones. And the eye colors, colors plural. Can we? You can change. You can have your eyes as different colors. This is so cool. They have put a lot of thought into this character career. Eyebrows. <laughs> They're fun. Let's go with these ones that are kind of leaf shaped, or do we want these ones? <laughs> let's go with those ones. Okay, mouth, let's... I think just a <laughs> smile. Let's go with a smile. Hair. Okay. <laughs> Loving these different hairstyles. Can I rotate? Yeah. Oh, it's like a little plait. <laughs> these are cute. The little buns. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many that cute. <laughs> I love the representation here. Amazing. <laughs> I, love that. I love how this one has a whole page to itself. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with the cute little space <laughs> buns. And then what colour do we want? The purple's nice. I'm just going to speed this bit up because all I did was click through about 20 different hair colours before deciding on red. Let's do red. Nice. Facial hair, we're okay. Facial details. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I want, I want little stars and moons. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Um, pronouns, great, and voices. <laughs> that one sounds a bit evil. I love how you can just have silent. They're just not going to say anything ever. Should I change my eyebrow colour to match my hair? Let's do that. That one. Okay. Hold to complete. Okay, we've made our character. Okay. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand, a message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I'm reading this like it's a poem because the first one rhymed, but then the next one didn't rhyme. <laughs> I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly the waters calmed and then I saw it. Welcome to Azoria. Oh, let's go. This looks so nice. Okay, so here are the people. She's waving at us. Okay, let's talk. Hello there, the responsible mayor of Azoria. West, 
My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Little Oliphant and you found a message in a bottle? I wonder if you got to change your name later on in the game because it's a bit weird just to be called Little Oliphant. <laughs> Excellent news. I was the one who threw it in the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Unless I just missed it before. That, that's very possible. I have done that before. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends. But we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. You know, I'm starting to think this place isn't as great as it originally seemed. <laughs> Maybe they should have mentioned this in the letter. There's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine, and don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Yep, Azoria is a real paradise. <laughs> no, don't go. Well, you, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. Moving in. The message in the bottle was true. A lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you have to do is claim it. Discover and enter your new home and open your welcome package. Okay. I promise you'll love it here. Press M to open map. So, our homestead is all the way up here. Oh, you can track it. Love it. So, we're going this way. Up the stairs. Can I talk to everyone? Uh, Emily, an eager reader who prefers non-fiction and biographies. Uh, Springtime is when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Uh, Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She works really hard to take care of the town. Drop. Oh, oh we can buy stuff to decorate the house with already. Well, we can't buy it right now. But this looks so cool. I like this blue herringbone wallpaper. Okay, this looks really nice. A Rudin shelf! I need to get the Rudin shelf. I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. Okay, let's go home because it looks like we can't do anything until we've completed this quest anyway. I jump on it. Oh, I can't jump on it! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, shall we do that again? Oh, I keep missing it. Oh no. <laughs> What's this? We got a clay pot recipe. Wow. Okay, is this like our save point? No. Oh, we're still going. Ooh, okay, read. Welcome to Azoria. Dear future friend, once upon a time, an island called Azoria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hard-working souls, but life had become difficult for them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I, Mayor Merritt, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas, but a brave adventurer can overcome any dangers. Will you join us in Azoria? Merit the mayor. Okay. Oh, there's another recipe over here. Let's grab this first. <laughs> Customization mirror. Okay, this must be our house then. I like how the door opened and I didn't have to click it. I could just walk straight in. And this is our house. It's a bit barren, but I'm sure we'll decorate it soon. And this must be the welcome gift. Backpack inventory. Press I to open your backpack. Oh, we already have all our tools. That's nice. Oh, I like that. I don't have to run all the way back to Merit. That's very useful. Uh -huh. Hi. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. Redeem quest. I like the sound effects. <laughs> so what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live. Assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. 
Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special little olifant touch. Oh no. Um, let's just call it the Cozy Gaming Club again. Oh, it's not long enough. Um, um, let's call it Cozy Cove. Cozy Corner. No! Cozy Corner. <laughs> they need longer house names. <laughs> Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. Speaking of farm, this house comes to one. Right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay. It has seen better days and will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place. Not with your own set of brand new tools. Oh, we got a set of starter tools. I thought we already had those. Oh, well. Using your tools is easy. Go up to objects and press left click. The right tool for the job will be used automatically. Nice. I like that. Just make sure to keep an eye on your energy. Okay. With those beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done and you can upgrade them later at Cinder Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass and harvesting arugula. What is arugula? from the land around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Okay, and now we have a new quest to do just that. Let's go. Okay. Plant fibers. Oh, so you've got to press it exactly on, maybe? Yeah, you can only do it if you click exactly on the thing that you're trying to cut. Oh. I can't break that log yet. Okay. Oh, is that another recipe? <laughs> A jute rug. Okay. Let's... Oh, we didn't even have to cut down the trees. We need stone, not logs. Stone. What do we need logs? Did I just miss that? What's that flying over there? Oh, it's a butterfly. Look at that. <laughs> okay. More stone. Let's pick up the arugula. Ooh, foraging level two. Nice. So there's going to be some sort of skills in here, which is fun. I wonder if I can find them already. Quests. Tidying up. Okay. Almanac. These are all our different tools and things. Fire pit. Raw materials. Is there any way to auto read these? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, lots of skills. Calendar. Whose birthday is it? Eddie's birthday on the 5th. I like that you have the calendar, but then you also have like your week and the weather. That is very cool. Okay. Let's find some more ar arugula. Arugula. That's a very fun word to say. I'm probably saying it completely wrong, but I like it. Um, oh, here we go. Nice. Let's go talk to Merritt. Hi! Happy to have you around. Redeem quest. Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself, but it's as easy as falling down. See, you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your almanac. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. Okay. So let's go in the house. And then we have to build a piece of cozy furniture. Are there going to be different furniture types like an Animal Crossing? So like a cozy set and a, I don't know, a lovely set, for example. Um, a ranch set. Right, craft in place. Build catalog. A round woven stool. 
Okay. Can I sit on it? Nice. Okay, let's go see Merit. <laughs> Making your home more cozy will make it easier to upgrade your stuff, did it say? Hi. Oh, we've already done this. Redeem quest. It's like you've been doing this your whole life, little Olyphant. I mean, I've played a lot of farming games. <laughs> really, I'm impressed. <laughs> Generally speaking, you can build decorative items inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles the postman will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning. So don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your fire. I've seen some arugula lying around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try cooking a fire. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Okay. okay. This is so exciting. I'm having so much fun already. Okay. So build a cooking fire. That we can do. And then cook something on it. Oh, we can make grilled greens. Okay. Let's just prepare one of those because I imagine they're not very good. <laughs> How are you all finding this so far? Are you enjoying it? Come back. Okay, let's go back to Merit. Redeem quest. Let me see what you've cooked, little Olyphant. Bravo! You see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home-cooked food will always taste better, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw, and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know. Get jazzy with it. I know what you're thinking, little elephant. When is Merit gonna teach me about farming? Right now. Let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Go get the materials and then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay. Soon you'll be enjoying fresh Azorian produce. You're going to be so self-sufficient, you can thank me later. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> So, turnip seeds. Um, silt. Sand. And logs. Okay, craft and place some basic soil beds. Okay. Um, I don't know where I want to place these. I wonder if I can move them later. Let's just place them here for now. Okay. Um. How do I? Oh, do, how do I exit? There we go. Okay. And then press to plant turnip seeds. Sorted. I might plant the other seeds while I'm at it as well. Oh, if we have enough stuff. How much inventory do we have? We have more, okay. So. We'll just collect the rest of these and build some more. Do it like this. Okay. I think we had nine turnip seeds. Yeah. We haven't watered them though. Oh, there we go. I better wait in case that's the next quest and I break it. <laughs> okay. Wonderful job. Soon your fields will be sprouting with ground-grown goodness. Say that three times fast. Ground-grown goodness. Ground-grown goodness. Ground-grown goodness. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. 
I hope you keep tending to your fields. As farmers always say, don't leave them alone. You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh, you should meet your neighbours. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie the Mariner. He's probably near his home and stay a while bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to share. Okay, let's go meet Eddie the Mariner, but first let's water our plants. <laughs> Interesting, they grow straight away when you water them. Getting so much XP. Okay. So, we need to find Eddie the Mariner. What's this about? Almanac. Gathering in crops. Turnip seeds. And our new quest to meet the neighbours. Let's go. Oh, I just fell down. Okay. There we go. Ooh, a new recipe. Pink checkered rug. Can I swim? I can swim. Whoa, love it. I see fish. Fish to catch later. There you are. I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. Chat. Before you arrived. Okay. They don't really have much to say. There. Oh, is that a recipe all the way down there? We're going. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Oh. <laughs> we did it. We got a bamboo rug for our efforts. Can I jump back up? Oh no. He's stuck down here. Oh, oh, there we go. We might be stuck down here. Try climbing up here. There we go. Oh, we're at the beach. Are these the mussels? Yeah. Fish. Okay, we got some mussels from the beach. Nice. And a new recipe. We're doing good. We're off to a great start. Ooh, what's this? It looks like something we'll interact with later. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff on this beach. Let's pick it all up. And another recipe. <laughs> Weird vase? Okay, I need to build that now. That sounds so cool. Hello, landlubber. One time I was cast in my nets off the coast of Crovania, and just for a second I saw the silhouette of a massive fish pass under my ship. Good to see you. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azorius Old Mariner. I hear you've got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. <laughs> Never mind that, you haven't lived until you've fished. Believe me, give me the sea over the trees any day. How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? Hot dog, I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> Alright, go out there and catch a fish, any kind you like, salt or fresh water. I'll even give you my old rod. May it serve you well. Cool. Okay. Yep. Now hold out your rod and cast it so your bobber lands near the mouth of a fish. Then you reel it in a bit at a time. Not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish is bitten, you get to reeling fast. Not all at once, though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up and with a little luck you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come tell me all about it. I feel like fishing is one of the things in a game that can really change. Everyone tries to do a unique fishing mini game and it's not always the best. So let's see how this one is. There's a fish right here. Oh, it's run away. Okay, let's do this one. Does that work? Okay. Giggle. Oh no, did I do that wrong? Okay. Hold. 
Oh, the real. Oh, well, it could. Okay, so when it swims away, I meant to be pulling it there when it swims away. Okay, so when it swims away, don't pull it. Oh gosh, I have no idea. It's kind of it's kind of working. Just watch for it to rope go. No. Oh no, it went red. There we go. <laughs> okay, we did it. Um, it's okay. It wasn't the worst fishing mini game I've played. It was maybe I'm just bad at it. We'll give it another go in a minute. My first ship was Sandy, and she was just a wee boat. She's probably settled near, near Davy Jones' locker after a catfish clawed a hole in her side. Wow. <laughs> ah, you seem to have done well for yourself. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day like I did. But none of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Mel the beekeeper can teach you about critter, crat, critter catching and you're going to want to pay attention to that. Okay. I love this. I love that we're meeting everyone and they're teaching us how to do stuff. This is really nice. Okay, maybe I wasn't. Oh, there. there's the staircase. I found it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I haven't put her on the map. Let's meet Mel the beekeeper. I wish I could tell the screen to look at this waterfall better. There's another recipe. We're going. We're going. <laughs> Woven basket. Luckily, there is a mushroom here. Bounce back up. I wish I'd seen that before. Okay. Right, up here to Mel. Hi. It's time to cast your line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. I thought you were the bug catcher. <laughs> A new face. When I heard someone washed up on shore, I could hardly believe it. It's so nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. The bees have all been a buzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm? Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Azorians by a wide margin. Now don't worry about how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. Okay. Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter. To improve your chances, ready your net and approach the critter slowly. Why don't you take a couple swings and catch a few critters, then come back and show me. I know you're going to catch a crit critter catching bug. <laughs> okay, let's just grab this. Another recipe. A brick clay path. Okay. Can I catch their critters? Will they be annoyed? Maybe I can't catch their critters. Nope, okay, okay. We're gonna have to find another one. Planes of plenty. What was that? Oh, energy. Oh, it glows when you're ready to catch it. I like that. Okay, I'll catch this one. Sorted. Uh, and now we're back on a farm. This butterfly is fast. Oh, it's a moth. Nice. Okay, we need to catch one more. It's getting quite late. Can we find another one? A moon moth. Whoa. Plus one catching efficiency. Okay, we caught a lot of critters. Let's go back to Mel. I love that there's a little energy lying around for us to collect. I wonder if that replenishes every night. Hold 
just clear this up while I'm on the way. Let's head back to Mel and see what they have to say. Wait, I want this. Firefly. Where's Mel? Mel was down here somewhere. There we go. Hey, Mel. Redeem quest. Well, how did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catcher. Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. You know there are many critter collectors on this island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Azoria who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really, and then you'll earn florins. That's the local currency if no one told you. Well, selling things is really Pearl's speciality. She's the chairwoman of the Merchants Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her in the town centre marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you. Hey, okay, let's go meet Pearl. I wonder if there's going to be like a forced night time. I don't see a clock anywhere. Don't mind me just catching all of the bugs. Ooh, frog. Has anyone else noticed that when I try to catch a bug, I go deathly silent? It's like I can only sneak up on it if I am quiet as well. A toad. Okay. Nice. Oh, is our backpack getting full? Our backpack is full. <laughs> we better hope we don't get anything else. Do our... No, our tools don't take up space in our backpack. Nice. Hi. Good to see you. The weather's getting warmer. It'll be summer sooner than we think. Dean Quest. Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Little Oliphant. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchant Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pocket that you'd like to get rid of. Am I right? Well, we did just fill ours. <laughs> what if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? It's true, you can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market, and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now is not the time for questions, it's time to learn. Pay attention, because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers, sold. Clay, sold. Spring peeper, sold. And it's so easy a chiku could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You can put something on those tables and by morning it's sold. I know what you're wondering, who is buying everything? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a pillow that says one Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on a marketplace table to sell them. Mayor Merritt will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Okay. Right, let's put stuff on the market. Just make sure there's at least three. Okay. So, put all our coral. Okay, stuff on every table. A salmon. A moth. And a peacock butterfly. Talk to Merit. I like that it tells you how much you're going to earn from each table. That's really nice. So it would let you know by the next morning how much money you've got, I assume. <laughs> you're back. I've been hearing such wonderful things about you. Oh, we're acquaintances now. And we've completed chapter one. That was quick. I wonder how many chapters there are in total. Sounds like you're becoming a real Azorian and aren't furious about... Wait, there's someone in a wheelchair. I love the representation in this game. Sounds like you're becoming a real Azorian and aren't furious about sh getting shipwrecked here. 
All's well that ends well. You get a house and a farm and we get our first new resident in... Well, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't actually remember when the whirlpools appeared, but things weren't going great even before that. But nothing you can't handle. Now that you've got your tools, rod and net, you can handle anything. So many questions. There will be plenty of time for answers, but you must be so tired of talking. How about we put a pin in this and you head on home? Great. Hey, I think you're going to do great things for Azoria. Okay. It's bedtime. See you in the morning. I wonder if... Oh. I didn't even have to go to bed. So does the day just end automatically? Okay. So this is how much money we made from all the stuff we collected. And it breaks it down into sections. So you know how much you win from which task. Does it have specifics? Okay, so you can see specifically how much each item was. This is really cool. Okay. Thorny problem, chapter two. Bit sad I didn't get to run home myself, but... Ooh, so decorating your house does increase your health. I mean, we can already see our energies up there, okay. And it increases quicker. Okay. This is cool. I like it. They've done a lot to improve on regular farming games. Multiplayer. Did you know your friends can join the wonderful world you've created? All you have to do is press plus to open the main menu and select multiplayer. Okay. Dies. Hi, I hear you're new in town. Maybe you'd like some dyes to start colouring your furniture and clothes. So you can buy, you can build and construct furniture and clothes and then you can colour them the colour you want. So it's not even in sets like Animal Crossing. You could get the ranch bed and make it pink if you wanted to. Nice. I'm just sending you a sample of some of my best. If you want more dyes, find me in the market. I've got plenty for sale. To all Azorians from Emily. The recent magical windstorm that sent debris flying had a peculiar effect on our shop. In brief, the wind scattered many of our recipe scrolls in all directions. However, we do not wish for them to return, be returned. Instead, consider these our contribution to the beautification of Azoria. Follow these recipes and create wonderful things. For example, one special scroll contains the recipe for a customization mirror. This magical invention permits you to change your hair, body shape, and face. You can transform your appearance at will. This and other marvelous creations await those who find and follow our recipes. Cool, we were already doing it. Hi, little elephant, so you might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around it, Astor Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. Can you come over and talk, please? Okay, this <laughs> is down desperate. Let's see what else, because we picked up a lot of scrolls. Let's see if we can build anything else. What else have we got? A squid vase. Oh, I wish I could build a squid vase. And floors. We can make a jute rug or a bamboo rug. Let's make... Oh, it's so small. Okay. We'll put it... Let's put it in front of the door. Oh! Did you see that? They merged together! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Can you merge different ones? Could I, like, put this in the middle? No. No. Okay. Right. <laughs> And I can reclaim ones that I don't want to use. That's so cool, though. They merge together. Okay, this game. This game. I'm in love with it already. Okay, so we're heading to East Town to find Alaric. Let's go. I'll water our plants before we go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> What's it? Don't have a recipe scroll here. What's this? <laughs> a green checkered rug. I want to decorate my house, but I don't want to start decorating too early. 
in case I get some really cool things later on that I want to decorate. That, that's what a spring peeper is. I thought it was going to be a plant, but it's a frog. Oh, <laughs> this was mop. Nice. So these must be the thorny problem. Oh, gosh, it's blocking off a lot. Okay, let's go talk to Alaric. And my inventory is full again. Oh, it looks so cute. I wish I could keep it as a pet. I don't think I have the inventory space for this. Pack full. Oh. Uh -oh. Do you think I'd look cooler with a hat? Famous wizards all have hats, don't they? The wisest wizard in town, also the only wizard in town. <laughs> okay. Situation. My name is Alaric, your humble wizard of Azoria. The mayor let us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. Oh, I love it. Aww. Yes, of course. You're wondering why I mailed you. Why I mailed you. Okay, so um, Azoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic, to be specific. As in uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. <laughs> oh no, I don't mean to worry you. No way, I do. Because it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> You fear nothing? Well, that's good to hear, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. <laughs> oh my gosh, the writing in this game. I know what I must do. I will build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. That's my tummy. I've been so worked up that I've forgotten to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you can make me some home-cooked food? I've been eating raw mussels and I think I'm about to turn into one. Okay, that we've already picked up mussels from the beach, so we just need to run home and cook up some mussels. Love the mushrooms. That's so fun. Let's snipe auto transfer. Let's sell those. Okay. Right, let's cook some mussels. Use. Muscles. Okay. okay. Takes a little bit of time to cook. Okay. I wonder if we can leave it cooking while we go somewhere. You don't have the required ingredients. Oh, because I sold my salmon. But we've learned the salmon recipe. Okay. Oh! Cobblestone pack. Nice. That was a fun accident. Can't get out of the water. There we go. Quest. Give items. Give. You're back. I smell food. I can feel the life returning to me. And now we're acquaintances. What's going on with Alaric's glasses? I can't wait to chow down. I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical lab. Tomorrow morning you'll have your very own magical staff. Okay. Now I don't normally recommend anyone work all night, but time's a dire. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest patch of thorns. We'll test out the ta staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Okay. So that's tomorrow. Can I check out their house? <gasps> oh, what a cool house. Investigate. What am I investigating? Oh, is that another recipe? <gasps> Violet tiled rug. Nice. This looks cool. What's this? Okay. Alaric has a cool house. Oh, I already caught that. Okay. Let's go put some stuff for sale because our inventory is way too full right now. I can't remember where the marketplace is. Marketplace is here. I hope I don't need any of these. Do we have any other quests? Okay, so we've got a quest for tomorrow, but nothing for today. 
So let's go finish clearing out the rest of our farm. Maybe do some. Fireplace, that's cool. Was it smart? Look at our little frog. <laughs> I want a frog back. But let's go clear our farm out. Ooh, that's so much fun. <laughs> I just spent the rest of this day cleaning up my farm, buying some more seeds, only to discover I then couldn't plant them, and chatting to a few of the local residents. Okay, we're in 220 today. Not bad. Lots from critter catching. Uh -oh. Laura and I met where the fawns were thickest. Uh. They presented me with the oddest magical staff I'd ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving, because the fawns began receding. The jumble should be afraid of my new power. What's it? Is, is this a jumble? Oh, is that the junk that came to life? Good natured Azorians need no longer cower. <laughs> hey, we have a magic star. Let's go find Alaric and get our quest rewards. So, look how many people there are. We have a lot of people to meet. <laughs> and after that, I promptly went on a quest to destroy as many of the vines that I could, encountered some strange black fog, tried to climb a hill to get a recipe and fell in the water about ten times, and then finally made it to Alaric's house. Okay. Oh, this is Alaric's house. Redeem quest. Okay, it's time to test your might. Try thwacking those thorns with your staff. Impresto smacko, they'll disappear. That's the end of chapter two. It's going quite quickly. No, it's really a magical staff. Trust me, we'll get into the magic stuff later. Now that you have this staff, why not test it out on more thorns? Oh, and keep an eye on your mailbox. That's how Azorians like to communicate. Okay. Back to our mailbox then. And keep an eye out for a brown snail. <laughs> the rest of the day was pretty much mine to do whatever I wanted with, so I did a little shopping and got an inventory upgrade. I also found some really cute clothes, but decided not to buy them yet and to hold out in case I needed something else more. Then I went and did some exploring. I found out you could pick berries and tea leaves, which is awesome. And then I accidentally stumbled up a mountain and almost froze to death. <laughs> also, while on my journey, I encountered probably one of the scariest parts of the game so far. <laughs> okay, not scary, but spooky. There was this whole area that was really dark. There was birds flying overhead and it was some really creepy music. I was intrigued. But then I returned back to my farm and decided to just finish wrapping things up for the day. Cooking level two, let's go. Okay, we'll just go and put these in the marketplace. Snails. Did you see that? We just caught two at once. That's nice. Right, let's go. I wonder if we can still visit Jack at this late hour. Presents, that's cute. Let's fill all of these tables with berries. Let's see if we can find Jack. That's Drack. Were they called Drack? Oh, maybe. Oh, no, there he is. And Frida has a quest for us, so let's go that way. Are they in one of these buildings? Oh, ooh. Uh -huh. 
August the chef, a jolly chef who cooks with his heart. Oh, nice. Recipes. Oh, and there's a, a recipe here. What is this? <laughs> Bellows. Okay. Jack. Oh, here's Frida. Have you been selling things at the market? Anything you don't need could be coins in your pocket. Quest. Have you gotten to know your Azorian neighbors better? If you haven't, I can give you some tips. I'm a bit of an expert. Reach friendship status with the person of your choice. Okay. It takes ingredients, patience, time, and stirring things up. That's what might not sound like it belongs, but trust me, it does. Now, relationships generally come in two flavors, friendships and romances. To build a friendship, try spending time with people. They love having chats. Your friendship will develop, and eventually some people will even want to become your bestie. You can have as many best friends as you like. Market vendors are generally too busy with their craft to maintain any real relationships, but there are plenty of other people on the island to get close to. Some special residents of Azoria are looking for romance. You can chat with them, help them with gifts, and eventually go on dates. One day, if you play your cards right, you could even get married. Not that you have to, of course. You decide if you want relationships or not. Why don't you go out there and make a friend? Then you can come back and tell me all about them. Okay, I also just saw a recipe back here. <laughs> a watermelon rug? Oh my gosh, I need it. I need it in my house. Okay, right, Jack. Jack wanted brown snails. Okay, <laughs> is that how we make friends? Where I'm from in Hibivert, it's green as far as I can see. It's beautiful, but I think I like Azoria more. Okay. A fan of frogs. Frog sweat? What? <laughs> Have you ever looked at a frog like really looked at one? There's something special about them. Frog sweat. <laughs> they want a gift of frog sweat. It's getting late. Time to go home. Oh, that was a loud wolf. Okay. Let's head home. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Bjorn. Top contender is Bjorn Free. <laughs> Cute. There is a time. Did I just miss that before? Let's head home. Got a watermelon rug in our house. <laughs> Look at all the berries. Okay, we made a lot of berry. <laughs> Roasted berries, was it called? Look, we better be rich tomorrow, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Let's see if we can make this watermelon rug and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Build catalog. We can't make it, we need an undiscovered item. Why are all the cool stuff blocked behind undiscovered items? Okay, let's go to sleep. Ooh, colors. Oh! Okay, that's a little annoying. But I think I'm gonna end here while we try and work. Oh, chapter three! A port in a magical storm. Yeah, I think we're gonna end here while I try and work out. How to change these colours. Oh. Okay, so all the colours are locked. We can't. We can only change the boring colours. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the game here. I am having so much fun. I'm definitely going to keep playing this after the stream because I am loving it. I am, I'll probably be uploading more videos. So make sure you follow the channel. I just know I'm going to be obsessed with it. Well, I knew that before, but now I've played it. I am even more obsessed with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you check out Fae Farm when it releases on September 8th on PC and Switch. Bye!